The previous law was very open. It depended on what the car seat manual said. The new law is more specific. As it stands now, Washington law says the child should stay in a rear-facing car seat until at least two years of age. It's more of a recommendation. Well, that changes on January 1st, and it becomes the law. After the age of two, it's up to the parent when to decide when to turn a child around. Paramedic Kinesa Thompson with AMR. Their little spines are like a toothpick, and then you're putting a bowling ball on top of that toothpick. Um, and so they're forward facing. They get flung forward, kind of like a whiplash like we do. It could snap that toothpick. Uh, rear facing, it, it limits the forward motion to where their head could fly forward and cause spinal injuries. Getting the biggest reaction online is the new change to the booster seat law. As it is, children have to remain in a booster until they're four foot nine or eight years old. The new law gets rid of the age requirement and keeps the height requirement of four nine, meaning kids in middle school could still require a booster. Here's why height matters. Because it gives them just a little extra boost to keep the belt, the seat belt in the right spot. So right over their shoulder and right over their lap. So it's not up in their neck or up in their stomach. So what about high schoolers that aren't tall enough? I asked the Washington State Patrol. They say, don't worry. It's only meant for those children under the age of 13, because at that point they can then move to the front seat. Again, it's all about safety and where that seatbelt hits you safely across the chest and the stomach.